Okay, folks, this will be an interesting, challenging one. Uh, let's see if I can make it look any good. Okay, let's see what this is. I actually think, we'll go back. Maybe we're gonna go back to the blue, which adds a little bit of something to this kind of image without the black, when we don't use black toner. So let's see what this is. It looks like some kind of top, and we're interested in the sequins, primarily the sequins. So we're just gonna put it on the glass in that fashion to try and put the sequins in place. This will be a tr tricky one, folks, trying to get the sequins to go right into the top corner of this photocopier. So we're just gonna make it a movement piece. It's gonna be a little bit random again, as we often are. I don't know how that turned out, folks. Yeah, that looks nice in some ways, but it looks a bit dark. Uh, I think we've made it too dark. I think we've got to lighten it further. Well, we can't, though, because we'll end up losing the blue. But maybe we could live without the blue. I think the blue might have made this image too dark in this case. So we're just going to kick it out. We're just going to kick it out by using this. So we're just going to add that and add that. I'm going to try again, folks. I'm going to just put that corner, put this back into the corner of the photocopier, into the glass. And we're just going to just put that in the corner and move it around and hopefully get a similar but better result. Yeah, that looks really quite interesting and we have some of the fabric there. Um, I do still think it's a bit dark. Maybe we could still utilise this section. Maybe that could come up a treat. Going back to 100. Going to 100, we're just going to put this away. I think the sequins are lying flat on the glass. That's why they look dark. They're not reflecting like you'd like them to. So I'm gonna use this as our piece. Yeah, that looks interesting, but it looks, still looks a bit too dark. I do think it looks interesting, I think. Uh, I do think maybe we could just simply lighten it further and make it into something more interesting. I'm going to try that again. Try and put this in the corner.
yeah, that's come up a treat actually. Even the hand is not such a bad thing. So we've got something happening here, folks. Uh, I think we can work with this. Um, I'm just going to use my intuition. So we're flowing with this image. The enlargement. We do need to enlarge it further. Uh, uh, I do wonder if I'm going to do it again. Oh no, it's up there. Uh, I'm just going to, folks, just try and work with my intuition. We're working with this. I'm going to use this as our movement piece. I'm going to take out... I just took it, taken a bit of time to deliberate, folks. looks really quite interesting already uh, I do think that looks nice it could be better I'm gonna try that again this time folks Movement is, a, is notoriously a difficult thing to control, folks, so just bear that in mind. When my demos do get a bit prolongated and really length, lengthy, um, that looks really quite nice, actually. Uh, going to use that one, I think. So this is a marbling. We're creating what's called a marble. We're marbling on this photocopier, so we're doing an interesting piece where we just keep making copy of copy of copy and keep moving it and sliding it and hopefully to try and get a really really good sweet spot type effect trying to find an interesting pattern that'll work well with a mirror and I think this could work Maybe we could just cut out this section and enlarge it. I uh, don't know how it's going to look. Wondering which one we're going to work with. I'm going to try another version of this. I'm going to try that again and see if we can get an even better result. looks interesting. Uh, do wonder if maybe we could cut this out and make that into something interesting. Uh, maybe we can cut it down there. I think we can folks. All right I think we found a reasonable piece for a sweet spot that we can just utilize. Uh, I'm just going to maybe, I don't know where I'm going to clip it. Maybe down there, perhaps. It's tricky, folks, trying to work out the best pattern to use or the best the sweet spot. To try and find the sweet spot of your image and enlarge it. So...
This is a challenge, folks. But this is the um, the essence of what I do is often to challenge myself really, really heaps to really make something really, really challenging. I think the vertical's too high and the horizontal needs more. We just got that ugly bit there we don't want. So I do think the horizontal should go maybe 200 or 200 and the vertical could go 270 for that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I do, I do think maybe we could just try and catch that little bit because, yeah, that's the first version. And this is the uh, second version. Uh, looks better, I think, the second version, but the, we need a bit more in that way. And I think that's, that looks interesting. Uh, I do think, yeah, we'll just see what we can do. So the X will be a little bit less. We're going to make it maybe... 100 and not 170 I think that's what we had before 190 in the vertical it's going to be 200 and 60 Yeah, that looks better. We got that bit there, down there, pretty close. Um, and we've got a bit more of the top up there. So got a little bit more up there. Uh, I do wonder where the, what we're going to do with this one. Um, I do wonder. If we're gonna run with it. I nearly forgot what we started with. It was, if I remember correctly, it was a sequined top. It's amazing how things transform when you're using a photocopier, folks. What you can achieve with a photocopier. And some creativity. Of course, you need creativity to do this. You can't just use the photocopier as, as it was originally intended, even though it was given all these features. Most people don't use this sort of shit, folks. Okay, out it comes. These are our pieces for our mirrored version of this job. Or we'll oh, mirrored pieces of this job, should I say. Try and slide them in together. They, be, they keep bumping each other a bit. Anyway, that's really splendid in my books. I think we can now call this demo quits.